you guys know, I've been on a journey of sorts toward a more simple lifestyle, I guess I would say, over the last year or so. And one of the things that I've been putting a lot of effort toward is styling my home the way that I want it. I just really want a clean, simple, minimalist aesthetic in my home. And this has been a process for me because do you guys ever go on Pinterest and look at pictures of rooms and you like what you see, but you aren't exactly sure what you like about it or the steps that you could take to create that aesthetic in your own home? For a long time, I've looked at pictures, but I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what I like about what I'm seeing. So through trial and error and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't, I've come up with three tips that I think are great places to start if you're trying to achieve that clean, simple, minimalist aesthetic in your home, and I'm going to share them with you today. Tip number one is to clear off your countertops and table surfaces. If it isn't something that you use every day or is out as decor, put it away. You wanna utilize all of your drawer and cabinet space here, and I found that clearing off your surfaces instantly makes such a huge difference in the look of a room because kind of the key to that simple minimalist aesthetic in a room is as the eye glides across the room it shouldn't really catch on too many things and when you have a lot of things out on tabletops and countertops the eye gets distracted as it's looking around so i did this with my kitchen countertop appliances i put things like my blender up in the cupboard the only thing i didn't move is my toaster because i don't know what it is no matter how how hard you try to clean a toaster anytime you move it it's just crumbs everywhere so it would be ridiculous to be like moving a toaster in and out of the cupboard another great place to do this is your desk if you have like a cup of pens or you have a tape dispenser put them away in a drawer and kind of clear out that space also if you have magazines on your coffee table or little pieces of decor on your dresser or your nightstands clear everything away that isn't like an everyday all the time thing that you use and put it in drawers my second piece of advice is to go light on color and patterns and really just your decor in general. Do you guys know that old jewelry rule where they say after you've put all of your jewelry on you should take one piece off and that's the right amount that you should be wearing? I feel like that also can apply to your decor because you don't want to overdo it. Light solid neutrals are going to be your best friend here because they make a room feel spacious, they aren't distracting to the eye. So I love my beiges, my soft grays and white. Bright colors and patterns are very distracting to the eye and that's not necessarily a bad thing if you you want like a couple focal pieces in your room to add a certain vibe or add a pop of color. One thing I found I really like to do is accent an area with texture instead of color and pattern. Like if you guys just saw my last video, which was a home haul, I will have that link down below. I got some new pillows for my couch and they're all mostly neutral colors, but I have like a gray one that has a really rough linen-y type texture to it. And then I have another one that's kind of soft and fuzzy. And even though they're neutral colors, the texture provides some variation. This also applies to wall art and decor. I used to have so much stuff hanging on my walls in previous apartments, and I really don't have anything on my walls in this loft. I found that when I used to have a lot of stuff on my walls, after a while, it would just blend in and become like white noise in the room. Like I wouldn't really even notice it was there anymore or appreciate it. So these days I don't hang anything on my walls unless it's something I actually look at and appreciate during the day. So I'd really just put up your absolute favorite pieces and don't be afraid of a blank wall. I used to be so afraid of a blank white wall and now I feel like that can almost make just as much of a statement as a wall with all kinds of things hanging on it. And then my third piece of advice is to have less stuff. I realize that's a really obvious one, but I do have an angle here. I used to think that if I just tidied and organized really well, I could achieve that simple, clean aesthetic in my home. Like if I just lined up everything perfectly on a bookcase or all of my shoes really neatly on a shoe rack. The problem with that is 30 pairs of shoes on a shoe rack still looks like 30 pairs of shoes, even if they're all lined up. Or 10 jackets crammed on coat hooks, or 100 DVDs on a bookcase. A byproduct of owning a lot of stuff is having a lot of stuff around and in your space, and thus changing the aesthetic of your home. So I really found the best way to start achieving that more simple feel to your home is to get rid of things that you don't need. And the great thing about getting rid of stuff is it opens up more drawer and cabinet space for you to clear off your 
countertops. It's like a cycle. So there you have it. Those are three kind of key concepts that I've come across in trying to simplify my home. If you have any tips for achieving a more minimalist aesthetic in your home, please let me know what they are down in a comment below because I need all the help I can get. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more. And I'll see you guys later.